The first time Adam Devine met Chloe Bridges, they barely spoke. He didn't even know they were going to work together. Years later, the two are married and share hilarious moments of their adorable life together. How exactly did they go from that awkward first meeting to finding love together? Adam Devine first met Chloe Bridges on an airplane. The two were going to appear in the movie The Final Girls. Adam had been informed that Chloe was going to be in the film. However, the actor hadn't read his work emails and didn't know. Bridges tried to chat Divine up. The star didn't know what was going on. The actor described his thoughts at that moment, saying, I just think, this baby's hitting on me. Adam had a girlfriend at the time and felt kind of overwhelmed. The pitch-perfect actor has also confessed that he was scared of Chloe's beauty. In the end, the two barely spoke and Divine spent most of the ride playing Fruit Ninja on his iPad. At the time, Chloe thought that Adam was acting as if he was too cool for her. When the plane landed, Divine realized he and the actress had the same driver. That was when he decided to ask her if she was in the movie, to which she replied, Yeah, what do you think? Luckily, this awkward first meeting didn't affect the performer's friendship on set. Soon, the duo realized that they had chemistry and began dating in early 2015. They shared the screen again in the movie Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. The couple has always been absolutely adorable. After dating for a few years, Adam decided to prepare a surprise for Chloe's birthday, a day at Disneyland. His Pitch Perfect co-star and friend Rebel Wilson helped him with the dinner reservations. Aw, how cute! Eventually, the two settled down together in California. In 2019, Adam decided that he was ready to propose. The actor told Lily Singh that he was so nervous the day he was going to pop the question that he kept acting weird. That morning, Chloe woke up with her boyfriend staring straight into her eyes. And first of all, I was like weird all morning. Like all morning, I kept just like, because I knew he was going to do it that day. And I just kept like rubbing her back and telling her how beautiful she is and saying over and over that it's going to be the best day of our lives. Adam took Chloe out on a boat. The star was acting so strange that his girlfriend initially thought he had bought a yacht and was trying to tell her. When Adam finally proposed, he was so nervous that he doesn't even remember what he said, only that Chloe answered yes. She, uh, she didn't say yes, which was weird. She was, was just like, oh my, oh, Adam, oh. And I'm like, <laughs> A few days later, the actor made a post on Instagram to commemorate the whole thing. He wrote, I love Chloe more than anything, and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with her amazing self. Bridges opened up about her relationship with Divine in an interview with Us Weekly. The actress explained that shortly after meeting, they realized they were incapable of staying away from each other. Even if the chemistry was undeniable, Chloe realized that Adam was the one for her a little bit later, when they had their first fight. At the time, the actor said something along the lines of, We gotta figure it out because breaking up is not an option. Bridges realized how much she respected that attitude. Divine has also mentioned their disagreements in interviews. The actor revealed his strategy for not getting too deep into fights to People Magazine. He shared that he usually attacks Chloe with smooches to make her forget what they were fighting about. Usually my aggressive smooch attack will get me out of most trouble, he joked. Before the couple could get married, the COVID pandemic happened, and they had to quarantine together. Spending so much time together was a deal breaker for many couples, but the actors absolutely loved it. Adam bought an ocean boat so that they could move while respecting social distancing guidelines. The pair even self-isolated by Catalina Island for a weekend. After the quarantine was over, Bridges made a post on Instagram saying that even if she was grateful that they both could get back to their jobs, she missed spending every minute with her sweetie. In late 2020, the couple managed to lock down a wedding venue in date. However, COVID had other plans. The venue canceled all 2021 events, so they had to start all over again. The lovebirds went to Mexico to plan the ceremony once again. Finally, they went from their initial 200-person California wedding to a smaller affair at a resort in Mexico. A few weeks before the ceremony, the actors had another scare. They got breakthrough COVID. This means that they tested positive even after being fully vaccinated. Luckily, they were able to complete their quarantine. All their guests tested negative before the ceremony, so they were able to carry on. Finally, the couple tied the knot. The wedding had around 90 guests, including actress Rebel Wilson. Adam's workaholic co-stars Blake Anderson and Anders Holm served as groomsmen. One specific part of the ceremony was essential for Chloe. She and Adam had to write their own vows. The actress confessed that whenever she goes to a wedding and the couple doesn't read their own vows, she's always left wanting more. Reciting said vows was easier for Chloe. When Adam's turn came, he began crying and didn't stop until he finished. Seeing Chloe in her gown was all it took, he told Vogue magazine. 
The former Disney actress also stated, I felt so present and so surrounded by love. After the ceremony, fireworks marked the start of the party. Bridges revealed that their friend Trey Cool, a member of the band Green Day, got on the drums. Then Adam and his dad joined him on stage. What a memorable moment. Over time, the lovebirds started sharing pictures from the ceremony on Instagram. Chloe confessed that she knew they had a special connection from the day they met. Oh, and she liked the way Adam's butt looked in jeans. He's the kindest, funniest, most incredible man I've ever met. I'm so proud to be his girl and will be even prouder to be his wife. The couple usually takes to Instagram when it comes to commemorating important moments. In Adam's case, he does it while showing his incredible sense of humor. For example, on Chloe's birthday, he congratulated her by writing, When I die first, I'm coming back like Patrick Swayze in Ghost. Divine also joked about dying first while congratulating his then-girlfriend on her 2019 birthday, so it seems like this is a recurring joke. Adam also sometimes shares funny pictures of Chloe. On Valentine's Day 2020, he uploaded a series of photos of the actress crying while watching TV. She's even pretty when she aggressively cries at commercials and at absolutely any movie, he said. The actor's sense of humor has accompanied him during most of his life and started as a coping mechanism. When he was 11 years old, Adam was hit by a cement truck while on his bike. The only reason he survived was because the bike took the initial hit. Still, the young Adam went into a coma and woke up two weeks later. Divine had shattered every bone in both legs, seemed to have a collapsed lung and developed infections. He underwent more than 20 surgeries and had to spend some time using a wheelchair. After a while, Adam started walking again with the help of a cane. When he returned to school, he was bullied. The future actor turned to humor as a coping strategy. So you were just in bed watching comedy all the time? All the time, Which yeah. Which helps you heal, probably, because you're laughing. It did. I could have, like, read books. I could be a doctor right now. He used to spend his time phoning his local radio show and impersonating superstars, not knowing one day he would become one too. Luckily, Adam fully recovered, although he still has scars on his legs. He has left the painful accident behind and is now living his happiest life with Chloe. Divine's humor has also helped soften some scandals in the celebrity world. When many women accused singer Adam Levine of cheating on his wife, the actor poked fun at the similarity of their names. Adam posted a picture on Instagram where he wrote that he and Chloe were doing great and going strong. I am not Adam Levine. He's a different guy and a worse singer, he joked. During an appearance on the Armchair Expert podcast, Divine choked that he was not hot when he met his future wife. However, he is glad he met her in his plumpest state. Adam feels like Chloe doesn't care if he's in the best shape. The actor has also suggested that he and Bridges might have children someday. When Dax Shepard asked him about it in an interview, the star initially said, maybe. He soon followed it with, yeah, I like kids. Hopefully these two have many more cute moments they can share with us in the future. It seems that they are absolutely perfect for each other. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish the couple a happy life together. Be well and be kind.